So I want to talk about conjugacy and determinacy. and base points. Um, so this is kind of basic. If you, uh, if you understand this and where, uh, why you have to consider things up to, to add our isomorphism, you don't need to watch this video. Okay, uh, but let's, let's start. Um, and I'm going to start in the, in the topological thing. So let's take Z to be a topological space. Okay, and then we're going to take two points inside Z, Z1, Z2, and Z. Okay, and so what I want to do is I, I'm going to explain where uh, this, these morphisms come from. Okay, okay, and then uh, after we do it with, with the usual topological fundamental groups, Okay, so I'm going to omit the tops in a second. Then I'm going to do it with um, uh, uh, the profinite topological groups, or, or tall topological groups. Or, sorry, or tall fundamental groups. Okay, so uh, let me just draw the picture. It's really easy to see from this. So here's Z, and Z could have some holes in it or something. Okay, so here's Z1, and here's Z2. And uh, we let's say we have a loop here. Okay, maybe it goes around something so it's like non-trivial. So this this whole space here, this this whole thing is Z. Okay, um, and okay, so how can we get this loop here? Okay, so this loop here we'll call alpha, and so alpha it represents a, a class of pi one of Z. Okay, and uh, okay, so we have alpha here. This is in here, okay? Pi one with, with z one, okay. And so what we could do is is we could take uh, what we could do is we could take this dude here. We can go along some path here. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, we could go along this way, go this way, go around, then come back. Okay. That's one way of doing this. Um, if we call this path here gamma, uh, so then what is this map here? So this map here is uh, f of gamma. Okay, and what f of gamma does, uh, f of gamma of alpha, uh, so this is just equal to, uh, so what do we do? We, we, we go across with gamma, okay, then we, we take alpha, and then we, we undo it, okay? Uh, we could do the same thing with a different path, okay? So we could go here, then come back along the same path. Uh, in, in this situation, if this is gamma tilde, so this is a is a similar construction composed with uh, alpha. Uh, let's say uh, alpha, and this is uh, uh, what am I doing? So th this is a gamma tilde. Okay. All right, and, and uh, one can check uh, how these th th see how these two things are related, so that um, uh, f uh, is related by uh, conjugation. Uh, so f gamma, f gamma tilde. Uh, this is uh, delta inverse. Okay, so I may uh, remove this composition sign. So this just denotes concatenation of paths, by the way. Uh, so we have this uh, dude here, and so what's delta? Delta here uh, is equal to uh, gamma inverse uh, composed with gamma tilde. Okay, and so <clears throat> look, you can just see delta times this here, uh, delta times this gentleman, right? These guys cancel, okay? And now you're left with the gamma inverse, so it's like uh, uh, in this expression, okay? So, uh, so what's the point? The point is, is that um, uh, the point is that we, we had to make choices. The isomorphism uh, pi one 
at zz1 to pi1 at zz2 requires a choice of path. Okay, so it, we had this choice. And uh, hence, or in, it, this results in uh, in the map in here uh, only being well defined. up to conjugation uh, by an element uh, uh, of the group of the target okay so that this is an outer isomorphism okay so it's well defined up to conjugation um, all right so this this exact same idea applies algebraically so um, so this same idea works algebraically. Um, okay, so so again, so what do we have? So let, now we're taking Z, it's going to be a scheme. Okay, and then we take closed points, uh, and so pi 1 of ZZ1, so this is, uh, let's say Z1 bar, so this is, uh, let's say Z1 bar, closed point, okay, so this is the automorphisms of uh, F Z1 bar, and this guy here is the same thing, the automorphisms of a fiber functor, okay, um, and we need to relate these by, uh, so we relate these two groups uh, by a choice of, let's say, gamma, which is in uh, the paths, so the, these homotopy paths from Z1 to Z2. Okay, and so this is defined to be uh, isomorphisms of fiber functors. Okay, um, okay, so so again, we, we're going to make a choice. Okay, so and, and, and we make this observation that any other choice, uh, uh, any other. gamma tilde uh, differs by is of the form uh, gamma tilde okay and then we do an automorphism of the source let's call it sigma 1 and the automorphism of the target here so where uh, sigma i so these are automorphisms of f of z i bar Okay, so, um, yeah, so we're, so, yeah, any other dude is, 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 any other, so we just make some random choice, and then any other random, any other other choice has to be related in this way. Okay, so, um, that being said, now we, we just compute what, uh, that it's going to be differ by conjugation. So, um, okay, so let's, let's say that F, uh, so F gamma tilde here or F gamma here, it goes from pi 1 Z1 bar, this goes to pi 1 Z2 Z bar, okay, it takes sigma, or let's see, uh, uh, yeah, I guess we can call it sigma or tau, or let's, let's do tau, okay, it takes tau and it maps it to uh, gamma composed with tau composed with gamma inverse, okay. So again, we had this gamma. It's going to go an isomorphism from this one to this one. So we need to undo it, do our our our, our automorphism there, and then uh, take it back. Okay, and uh, we can see that uh, f gamma tilde. Okay, so 
So F gamma tilde. So if it so now now look at uh, F gamma tilde. Okay, so F gamma tilde here is what is this? So this is gamma tilde, and then um, let's apply it to tau. Uh, tau composed with uh, gamma tilde inverse. Okay, and now we just apply the definition here. So this is um, uh, so how did we write this down? Sigma two. Oh, sorry. This should be um, sigma one. Or, sorry, sorry. There's no tilde there. So this is gamma tilde. Okay. So we just write this out. So this is sigma two uh, gamma uh, sigma one. Okay. And then this is tau. This is uh, sigma uh, two inverse. Let's see. So sorry, sigma two, uh, gamma sigma one. Inverse like so. So I'm just going to drop the composition notation. Gamma sigma one uh, tau sigma one inverse. This is gamma inverse uh, sigma two inverse. Okay, and so now this looks like here sigma two, and this part here is f of gamma of now what do we have? We have sigma one acting on this guy by conjugation. Okay, so this, and then we have sigma two inverse. And so this is just uh, sigma two, so what is this? So this is uh, sigma two acting on uh, f gamma of sigma one acting on tau. Okay, so there's this conjugation, so this is just equal to sigma 2 f gamma sigma 1. This is acting on tau on the left. Okay, so, um, I'm sorry, of f gamma of tau. So this, sorry, this goes through. I'm a little tired. All right. All right, and, and that's uh, that shows that they're, um, okay, so then what, what did we just show? We just showed that... Uh, uh, so this shows that, uh, or maybe this explains uh, that one, um, we need to make a choice uh, when uh, constructing the isomorphism. Let's say constructing. And two, that uh, regardless of the choice, uh, this is a well-defined outer isomorphism.